All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to another strap search uh, results video here. I went through a thousand dollars in one dollar bills, and these are my finds for the week. Not uh, not very many finds this week, but you know, you take what you can get. So we'll go ahead and start going through these. I also have something else to show you guys. Something that uh, I, I, a purchase that I made earlier this week. Uh, that yeah i'll go ahead and go through with to try to pad out this video a little bit so we're gonna go ahead and start it with a couple of where's george bills uh, i went for a, a good few months there without finding any where's george bills and they've kind of started heating up for me again so i'll go ahead and, and log these and and then see where they've gone um you have to have the bill in your possession though to log them please don't you know just go and start logging ones that you see because it'll come back on you or me anyway so found three of them this week so that's pretty good usually you don't find i mean lately i haven't been finding any so usually you know one or so is pretty good and moving on here we got a couple star notes got a 2013 to start us off another 2013 this one is a b so i believe this is one i think the serial number is low enough there that this could be one of the ones that was multiple that was printed in uh, fort worth in washington dc in 2013, the Bureau of Engraving and Printing had Washington, D.C. and Fort Worth print the B notes with the same, uh, star notes with the same serial number. So somewhere out there, there could potentially be a counterpoint note to that one. So that's that would be exciting to find a matched pair. I think there's only been a few of them that have been found. But... This one here is a, another star note, 2017 from, from uh, Kansas City, Missouri. Moving on to the older bank notes, we got a 2003A. Still find quite a few of these. Another 2003A. You got another one. Most of these, like I say, you know, most of these will go uh, back into circulation eventually when I find something at the coin shop that I want. So we got some 1999s. Adjust that there we go yeah that's better so we've got a 1999 here straighten out the corner 1995 with these ones you're always looking to see if uh, well not with fort worth ones but washington dc printed notes you're always looking to see if they are um from the web press the up there right there is how you'll be able to tell none of these ones are unfortunately Found a few 1995s this hunt. I don't believe we need any of these for the book. This one I I think could potentially be an upgrade. It's the oldest find of the hunt. So kind of not very interesting this week. Only 1995 was the, the oldest one. But you know, there's always next week. So you never know what else you might find. So, and this next one here, I think is kind of exciting. Let me go ahead and just show you what we got. It is the very first 2021 series $1 bill that I have found in circulation. I haven't seen any of these actually get anywhere. Well, I felt the first one I saw, I found in a bank strap hunt. So that's kind of cool. I'll definitely be adding this to the book. That is one that we certainly need. And I'm gonna check and see if this one is an upgrade. So give me just a second here. I'll get the black binder out and go ahead and see about that. And I'll show you guys what the other the other thing that I have to show you is. So give me just a second here and I'll get the binder set up. All right, here we are. Got the binder out, got it open to 1995. This, this is the one that was in the collection and there's a the potential upgrade. I think that is definitely an upgrade even though it's got that small tear there at the top it's generally it's just in better condition doesn't have a stain the paper is in better condition and i think that's just a better quality note so we'll go ahead and put that there and the next one is this 2021 so let me just go ahead and all right i'm just gonna go ahead this is the next empty page here in the binder so i'm just gonna take this oh, 2021 and slide it right there 
All right, the very first bill of a new series found. So that's pretty exciting. Go ahead and put this away here and show you guys what, what I bought at the antique store. So this is kind of slide it up there a little bit. This is German Nottgeld. So between World War One and Two, it starting in the teens and lasting up until the late twenties, I believe. Uh, German cities, you know, because the financial institution across the country collapsed due to the rapid, um, the rapid, uh, what do you call it, um, inflation that was that was going on there, the crazy inflation. A lot of German cities and you know different districts around the country started to print their own money, and it was called not geld, you know, not gold. It's it was money that was just used, you know, from state to state and city to city. So it didn't, it wasn't uh, anything that was. I don't think it was centrally kind of authorized by any means. You know, it's just something that cities did to keep themselves afloat. So what we have here is 50 Finnig from the uh, Notgeld Stadt Altona. So that's Notgeld, not gold from uh, the city of Altona, which is uh, Altona is, uh, oh, just a second. Uh, Altona, it's a borough in Hamburg in Northern Germany. So it's a, it's a neighborhood in the larger city of Hamburg there in Northern Germany. So that's 50 Finnig. What you've got here is a husband and wife arguing. Ostensibly they're arguing because of his drinking. And you got a couple of dogs down there at the bottom fighting, barking. Um, the artist is, uh, his name was, a, uh, or their name was, Bertid Klaas from, from Altona and the reverse there you've got the 50 Fennig uh, not geld of uh, Altona and that is the the crest of the city of Altona or the town or the borough I guess or neighborhood whatever you call it of uh, Hamburg so you got there with 12 D's I'm guessing December 1921 is when that was authorized and you got the signatures down there and here we've got three of them these three here are all from the city of i believe that would be pronounced veda i'm not exactly sure don't speak german but i think that is veda and that is uh let's see let's see it's a uh it's a district of Gries in thuringia germany so the crest of the city is there to the top right with the two towers that is meant to symbolize strength. I wasn't really able to find out anything about this yellow part there in the city. I'm guessing that it's similar to the, the crest with the two towers symbolizing strength, you know, from the, that was kind of the medieval times coat of arms there. So that is from the city of Veda. And on the back, I think this one's really cool. I did a little bit of research here and I was able to figure out that this is um, the uh, the Weidenkrieg, I believe is how that would be pronounced. The Weidenkrieg ruins in the, uh, in the city there. And that is, the, they're the ruins of a 12th century church that was abandoned um, during the Thirty Years' War in 1633. So this church has been a ruin since 1633, and I think I think that's really cool that um, this. I was able to find a, a picture online of a very similar angle. It was you know slightly kind of looking the other way, but it, it still had that arch in the in the foreground with that that steeple in the background. So I believe this whole thing is still there today, which is really cool. Definitely don't get anything really like that in the United States. Um, these, uh, these ones down here, these two are very similar to the other one as far as, I, I think I have these flipped around, you know, the, with the obverse and reverse there. This last one is from Tana, which the city of Tana, which isn't very far from, uh, Veda really, you know, they're both kind of in, um, kind of the Eastern part there next to, I believe that's Czechoslovakia. And uh, so they're next to the, to the border. Is that right? Or did I get my geography all wrong there? I don't know. Anyway, that's not 
here there, nor there. So I wasn't, I was able to kind of find a, a thing that had these buildings, but not really to saying what, what those were. So, you know, I'm guessing that's kind of some type of uh, church steeple there, maybe. I don't know, but very cool. Nonetheless, German, not geld. Um, I paid $5 each for these two and $6 for all three of these. So for $16, you know, I think that's a pretty good value for the collection. Something interesting to look up. You know, I was able to track down the name of the artist for that one and what is depicted in a lot of this, a lot of these, these things. Um, especially that, I thought that was really cool that the ruins there, that, that ancient church, or I guess not ancient, but really old church. So go ahead and open up, ooh, open up the old binder here. Just gonna go right ahead and open it up towards the back because that's where I'm gonna put this page. I have a little bit more not geld, you know, these these two pieces here. I think that one's kind of cool. The the lions with the guy there, you know, I guess that's depicting a, one of the colonies, one of the German colonies in Africa. And there's the, uh, the obverse. That's that's kind of I think that's kind of cool. They had the reverse of the 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 lions. There's a a monkey drinking wine. But anyway, I'll go ahead and add this page there to the back of my binder. This binder is getting kind of full. I'm going to have to figure out something else eventually. But got some not geld to add to the collection there. Always appreciate it. So I think if you've made it this far, uh, I thank you very much. And I think that should just about do it for the video. If you have made it this far, please give me a like, comment, and a subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. And I will see you guys with another video. Thanks a lot for watching.